you guys. I am doing this like massive unboxing haul sort of thing that I've been putting off forever. I have Pusheen boxes from the past two times I got them. I have a huge Think Geek box. I have um, Vegas stuff. I have so much stuff. I have Versace. I have so much stuff to get through and show you guys and I just feel a little overwhelmed so I'm just gonna get through this all as quickly as possible because I want to actually play with all this stuff and it's so random like I have cheese puffs so this box back here that I'm gonna be pulling stuff is from thinkgeek.com um, I love Think Geek. You can shop through Ebates on Think Geek. I know I do a lot of hauls I just did some Chanel sunglasses that you can't get through Ebates because my hair looks actual purple in this light um, because it's through Chanel, but Think Geek is on eBay, so you can get massive cash back. They have a bunch of Game of Thrones stuff. And I got this Cheesy Puffs bag pillow thing. Um, oh, you can actually open them and get the Cheesy Puffs out. This is so exciting. Maybe, oh, you have to cut it open. Yeah, I don't know, I just thought this was really cute and so funny. My sister, she's like, oh, I got you a Christmas present already, and then she's like, I gotta show you, I love it so much. And then my mom's like, mom, my mom, mom, my mom, yes, because it's our mom, but my mom was like, I think she already has it because she saw this in my room, and indeed I did. She actually had got me these cheese puffs too, so great minds think alike, obviously. Um, and then I got this little backpack. So you guys know I love little fuzzy backpacks. I have this little Ewok that I thought was a teddy bear, but everyone like gave me so many compliments on it. Um, this one's from Guardians of the Galaxy. Once again, I have never seen Guardians of the Galaxy, but it is a little backpack of this like little raccoon from the movie, and uh, just has this. It's actually a pretty big opening for the backpack for these kind of things like teddy bear backpacks and Yoda backpacks. This is actually a pretty big pocket. It goes all the way down. I thought he was super cute. I'm looking at him now and I don't know what he's from but I still like I launched him and he okay there we go. And then I got a bunch of cute little tiki cups. You guys all know I don't really watch Star Wars but you guys I do think Star Wars is super cute. So I got Darth Vader and Yoda tiki cups. They're really cute inside too. They have like colors. And then I got this one. I think it's Boba Fett. I used to know the guy who played young Boba Fett. What was his name? I have a picture with him. Daniel maybe? I can't think of his name. Sorry Star Wars fam. And then I got a, I was gonna call it a White Walker, a Stormtrooper. I don't even know how you open this guy. Come out. Come out wherever you are. And meet the young lady who fell from the star. Oh yeah. Stormtrooper, right? I know the names, I'm getting better. There's Ewoks, I'm getting so good at this kind of stuff. Okay, moving on. I got this sequin backpack, which I actually got before I got my Ewok backpack. Um, but I thought this was really cute. You guys can see I made Jason Momoa Aquaman shirt. It reminded me so much of Aquaman, and since I'm going to be cosplaying as Aquaman very soon, I thought this was a great little thing to put all my cameras in. And I suck at throwing. Remember when Gigi used to throw everything? Gigi girl, if you're watching, throw. <laughs> she threw it behind her. I'm like throwing it forward, which I suck at. Then I got this Game of Thrones uh, lunchbox because I used to always love lunch boxes and I have a whole little collection in my kitchen which is becoming too big now for my kitchen I feel like I need to move it I got some Game of Thrones blanket Game of Thrones blanket oh my god who saw Chloe and Tristan as Cal Drago and Khaleesi first of all I was like really excited about it and then Chloe is Khaleesi I was just like girl it wasn't even Khaleesi it was like a Viking um, I got the Daenerys uh, blanket it's like this fleece blanket and it's her. I also have a Jon Snow one coming. Um, well, not coming. We'll see in the hall soon. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm super excited about this. The girl who runs my Trisha Paytas memes account. Hold on. I gotta order sushi because I'm about to do a move on. Okay, two minutes and it'll be open. Um, the girl who runs my Trisha Paytas memes account actually showed me this a long time ago. I didn't know she actually got it for me. Girl, we'll have to be twinning. Hopefully you can keep it or return it, but if you if you love it too, we can keep. But it's this Jon Snow backpack, which I thought was super cool. I was like in a backpack phase. Oh my god, it has like the Night's Watch Oath on there. I love that. It's a pretty big backpack. It's a pretty nice backpack. Um, yeah, I have to stop myself from buying backpacks. I've literally been buying so much, but <laughs> I'm killing it with the throwing game. Uh, yeah. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Wow, this is another backpack. But yeah, I almost, where did I buy it? I almost bought another backpack yesterday, but really. And then I got a Jon Snow because Jon Snow blanket is life. Okay. <laughs> There's actually not that much left in here, so we'll just kind of take these out. They're just taking up so much space, man. That I probably could have used for Halloween. Hmm. 
why you should unbox stuff earlier. I'm gonna throw all the trash in this box. Okay, moving on. Now that that's out of the way, ow, my little butt. Not so little. Shade on myself. Okay, it's open. It's open, Postmates. This merchant is on, offline and can't accept orders. Excuse me, what? No! I'm so mad because this honestly is like the best sushi. We're gonna try in a few minutes. That's what we're gonna do. Okay, should I get closer? I'm sorry this is such an ugly background. Yeah, it's more like an outlet. So not cute. Um, okay, so then we have these shot glasses that literally look like laboratory glasses. Oh my God, the freaking things I buy online late at night when I'm bored and lonely and depressed. What? They're like little beakers. These would be so, actually they kind of look like take shots out of. I'm not gonna have that many parties, but you know, when I have uh, gentlemen friends or lady friends over, I do like to get a little junk junk. They're kind of like plasticky. They're not so glassy. They say glass. Shot glasses. Shot glasses. Okay. Next up, I got the zombie bowl to eat cereal out of, which I know why I got this now. This is how long ago I placed this order. It was for like a Halloween. I was gonna do like a Halloween morning routine. Because here's the thing, I actually usually do like Halloween a lot. I don't know what's happening, why I can't get this out. Um, this year, I was having a lot of drama in the month of October. Personal drama, drama with people in my life, drama I create in my own head. Oh, this is cool. It's actually kind of sick, and I totally would just eat my cereal out of it every day, so. Not mad about that. I'm very excited about this. My Game of Thrones dragon egg cookie jar. I love cookies. Also, guys, I'm not moving. <laughs> not moving now. Uh, yeah, I was getting way too stressed and over my head, and then I just thought, you know what? I'm unhappy here. What am I going to do? Move and think I'm going to be happy somewhere else. So, no. I realized moving is going to probably be good for me. I just got to be in the right frame of mind, and I'm definitely not there. Ooh, this is so pretty. It's a little dragon egg. It definitely needs to be washed, but how freaking cute. This is gonna so so perfect. My whole kitchen's like Game of Thrones, like themed kind of. Not the whole kitchen, but all my strong stuff reside. Ugh, that was honestly so dirty. Okay, if the sushi mukbang doesn't come, blame postmates because they keep trying and they're just not having it today. Should we go on to the Vegas stuff? Okay. Ooh, I got more shot glasses. Um, yeah, do you guys ever start, or when I was little I used to do this a lot, I would start like collections, I would be like, um, oh, I'm going to start collecting keychains, or I'm going to start collecting mugs. I do collect mugs, and I do collect shot glasses, but kind of like unintentionally. And then I always end up losing them. Oh, you know, I forgot about this. This is really cute. We're actually going to do a shot out of this in Las Vegas. I love little stuff like this. I get stuff at the airport knickknacks. That was an airport knickknack. We did so much shopping in like Vegas, like it would honestly be a time not to share it with you guys. Got a Vegas mug that kind of reminded me of Star Wars because I love Star Wars. <laughs> I got so much kitchenware. If you guys see below the surface right now, you could see all my kitchenware. Um, I got a bottle opener from uh, the Flamingo because it was pink and it was pretty. Okay, Versace, 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 Versace. I got a bunch of sunglasses from Versace. The first being this sick pair. I know everyone hates when I say sick, but this is pretty sick. This is a mirrored pair. I know I just did a Chanel unboxing, but. Hi, hi Versace, what's up? I thought these were really pretty. It was kind of like a thing, like my mom, my sister, and I all got Versace sunglasses because we were in the Versace store. And we really hadn't shopped that much while we were in Vegas, so I was like, let's just all get Versace sunglasses. And that's what we did. Um, okay, and then I got another pair. So they all got one pair. I have Versace to get two of them. Like that, you know, bougie, bougie me. Oh, I need this. Um, this is the second pair I got, which reminded me kind of of Elvis. These are so different than anything I have, so I definitely don't regret buying them, but they were so Vegas. And I really like them. I love 
about sunglasses, I do think they make you look super posh and bougie, and I don't know, I feel like you feel important in sunglasses, so I feel like everybody should have a pair of sunglasses that make them feel like they're the very best them. My phone's there. So that was my Versace. Okay, so other little knickknacks from Planet Hollywood, which is where we stayed, which was the worst hotel ever. I got this oven mitt, oven mitt that said I hate everyone too, because one, I do use, I do cook in the oven. You would be like, Trish, you don't cook. I cook in the oven. Um, then I got this. There's a fine line between looking tan and looking like you rolled in Cheetos, which is also always me. <laughs> and I got a postcard. Oh, I love getting postcards from places I go to too. And this one was really pretty. It had like glitter on it. So I got that. And then what else did I get in here? Oh, these were other things. We all got matchy matchy. I love matchy people. We got a diamond pen, gold pen. And then I got a little pen for your key ring and then a little flashlight for your key ring. I have so many key rings, but you know, I may be getting a new car soon, so I need more key rings. And that's it for that bag. This one just has a, a giant flask in it, which I ain't mad at, and it says size matters because <laughs> it does. Not true 100% when it comes to, you know, other things. It really is kind of how I use it, but definitely when it comes to alcohol, size matters. Okay, then I got these two little guys. I got a Marie um, Aristocrats uh, mini backpack. I've been wanting to buy so many Marie things, because I actually don't love the movie Aristocrats. I actually don't know if I've never seen it. But she is really cute. Like, a lot of things I buy just because it's cute. And this girl I watch, her name's Amanda3049, I think is her. If I got that right, oh my gosh. So crazy. I actually love her. She does, like, all these, like, pink. She's very pink, very girly, like, uh, has a lot of, like, I guess like anime kind of qualities about her and like her video style and stuff like that. I love it. It's always just bright. I always click on her stuff. She has definitely the same style as me, but she's like 10 times overboard with the pink, which I love. I love it. So funny. She actually was a winner of one of my eyeshadow contests. Oh my gosh. I want to say like 2010. So what is that? Like seven years ago? Like so long ago. She won an Urban Decay eyeshadow palette and I couldn't believe it. I'm like, wow, look at you. She's like killing it. She's doing so good. And I actually like obsessed with her videos. I didn't even remember that it was the same girl. Cause I don't even know she was making videos back them but she's killing it she loves all the Marie stuff so I finally caved in and got a Marie backpack I also got this sloth one because I couldn't decide because uh, people had called me a sloth I believe it was Sam on Celebrity Big Brother called me a sloth by the way what is anyone from Celebrity Big Brother doing anymore so I'm trying to do YouTube trying then I got this life is beautiful hat at the airport and the life is beautiful tank top because we were there the weekend after Life is Beautiful was happening and I kind of just thought that it was cute and that's something I could work out in. Probably something I will get rid of in a few months, but there you have it. We were also there right before the Vegas shootings, which was super, super scary. And then I got the Pasheen mug, which is so ironic because I'm doing the Pasheen unboxing in this same video. Pasheen, I don't really know. I think it's just a character, right? I don't think it's from a show or anything, but oh my God, how cute is that mug? It's just a really cute cat. I want to say Amanda was the one I saw um, do the first Pasheen unboxing. And it's why I kind of jumped on that bad wagon. A couple more things from Vegas. We have the snow globe, which I was barely able to get through security. Totally didn't even remember or think that this would be liquids, but I love snow globes. Like, could it be louder? You would think my window and door were open. And then I got a couple notebooks. I thought this one was really pretty. It was just like this kind of moon-esque one. And then I got a sloth that said, follow your dreams, which is basically me just being a lazy bitch. Um, and then I got a Hamilton calendar, which is kind of weird, actually. And, like, the king is, like, a different king. Wait, I'm so confused. <laughs> it's literally no one from the original cast except for Lynn. I'm so confused. Well, there's that. I literally thought it was like the whole cast. I love the original cast, but it's like none of the original cast. So I guess it's just the, the musical, the touring company. I don't know. All right. Well, there's that. <laughs> Thank God Lynn Manuel's on there, guys. Otherwise, I've been like, oh, what is happening? Okay. So, Pasheen unboxings. Ugh. Let's get into that. Okay. So, we might be in business. I was able to get past the first stages of trying to get a postmate for the sushi, so we might be having a sushi mukbang, which you'll probably see before all of this, because I love posting my eating shows. I truly love doing the eating shows. I think that's my favorite. I love doing hauls too, because I love sharing everything. Sometimes it just seems like overwhelming, because I buy so much rapola. Okay, so this was the original, so this is the fall one. I'm gonna show you the most current one. This one right here is one I've had for a couple months sitting here, because I wanted to show you guys. 
You'll just have to Google Pusheen box because I don't, I don't know just how to Google it. It's great. You put your size in. They always send you like a t-shirt. I love, oh, this one's really pretty. This is a little Pusheen flying. I wear my Pusheen uh, teal one all the time. I feel like I don't know if I've worn it on a video. I got a little ice pack. Oh, there's so much. Oh, this is like so cute. This is like must be like the summer one. Little push pops. I know it's all like little kid stuff, and it is, but oh, little pushing sippy straws. Machine earbuds. Whoa, you guys, this is sick. Ooh, more stuff in my suitcase. My maids are coming today. Um, my Hello Beautiful, I got this in Vegas, and I also got this lighter in Vegas. I heard pH, so we're gonna keep those out. I have literally like a whole kitchen right next to me. Um, ooh. ooh, a surprise. Ooh, I think my Postmate order was accepted. Oh, praise the Lord. What is this? I'm so, oh, wait, what? It's like a fold up backpack. Hmm. I don't get it, but I got it. And that's that. They always come with like a little toy too, which I never know what to do with these little figurines, but this is Pusheen on the beach. And then, this would have been more exciting if I would have opened it the right thing. Oh, a little passport holder, like you know, during the season. Oh, so cute! I keep all this stuff because someone I know will like it. I mean, I probably like about 75% of the stuff, and this little cute luggage tag looks so cute. The little character's cute, this little cat thing. So this is the fall one, which obviously you can tell by the fall leaves. <gasps> Woo! Okay, sorry, I'm so loud. I'm like so loud, I'm sure. I'm surprised they were even like, yes, you can stay. <laughs> I thought they'd be like, girl, you're too loud. Um, okay, so this is the figurine. She's holding a little mushroom. But she ain't doing shrooms these days, okay. Um, then we got, oh my God, a little pancake pan. Oh my gosh, I cannot. <laughs> this is the tiniest. What if I do like a machine morning routine? I love doing themed morning routines, if you guys can tell. Like I want to do a holiday one, like a Christmas one. I'm dying. Don't you want to like hit someone over the head with this? Not in like a bad way to kill them, but like, you know, kind of like Rapunzel entangled. It's the machine card. Oh, I want to wear this. They always send you like a little pushing clothing item. It's got little acorns and little shrooms. And it's so fall. See, it's so much funner to open these during the season because it's like it's so fall. And then we have a little pushing. This looks like a little throw, maybe? A very tiny throw. Pushing box exclusive. Oh, it's a little bath mat. <gasps> Tell me why I'm gonna put this in the guest bathroom, because I mean I'm done. I'm dead. That's literally the cutest thing ever. Oh my god, a little shower curtain, which I actually don't have shower curtains, which sucks. I'm gonna keep this rolled up in case I can give this to somebody because that would be super cute. Oh, another one with a little acorn. <laughs> this stuff just makes me happy, even if it is just in the moment. People are like, um, that's all like little trash, but honestly, oh my god, it's so cute. I'm gonna put you in my car. Another little rolled up dilly dally do. Dilly dolly do. I'm so excited to eat sushi. So excited. I got things to do today. Got a nail appointment. I want to get my Jamba Juice. Ooh. What is it? <laughs> oh, it's a pillow cover? Mm, okay. I don't know. This is going to go in the trash. But that's just not cute. Um, This too. I don't know if I can get down with this trash. I mean, there are certain things I'd keep, but... Mm, it's just like a little pen, just a little machine with its little, <gasps> oh, oh, to-do list. I'm going to keep that too. All right, so that's kind of everything. There is something I've had over there for literally a year. I'm going to just show it. I'm really not excited about showing this because obviously I would have pulled it if I was excited about showing it. Oh, my poor maids, I'm going to have to give them even, I left them extra, but I'm going to leave them even more because I just threw stuff everywhere. Um, so there are these little like Barbie vinyl things. Which I saw people doing, and I was actually gonna make these like whole bit. I always have like ideas. I'm like, oh, this would be good for like a whole 
video. Like, it all got so many views, but I'm just gonna put all in one because at this point, I just wanna show you guys. So I think people separate, I mean, I know people separate for views. Oh, this is the video, and this is the video. And honestly, these all could have been separate videos, probably really substantial, solid videos, which has like Versace sunglasses unboxing, and a Pusheen unboxing, and Vegas haul, and Think Geek unboxing, but like I said, I kinda just wanna show it to you, and it's actually just becoming more a, a nuisance for me. I got a little 60s Barbie. I literally have so many of these. I have four. All right, I'm going to show you guys the rest of the stuff, and then if you guys want to stick around for me unboxing the Barbie stuff. Then I got this Hello Kitty that's been sitting there. This is, what is this? Oh, it's a little thermos. Actually, I should probably be using this. This is how cute. Oh, for, like, coffee. Honestly, it's, like, super, super cute. Okay, keep that in my kitchen collection. Oh, my God. It looks so crazy. I'm going to have to separate what I want and what the trash is. Um, and then, what is this? <gasps> Ooh, Thor, just opened that. <gasps> oh, I love this. Are these the little, everything's just in commotion. Oh, little twin stars. It's like a little like lunch, like snack pack thing, which I love, because I love putting my Cheez-Its in like these little things, instead of Ziploc bags. Yeah, I'm a Cheez-Its girl. It's really nice, actually. Kind of, I think that's glass. Okay. So we have a couple more Barbie vinyl figures, which I'm getting my nails done, so I kind of don't mind just ripping into these and just opening these little buggers. They're kind of cute. That little 60s Barbie was kind of cute. I'm actually kind of glad I got her. I like little surprise stuff like this. It's like fun for me. It's like Christmas. What's the surprise? What's this Barbie gonna be? Let's all guess. I can't guess. I don't know, I'm really bad at guessing. Ew. <laughs> what? No. Not a cute Barbie. Uh, you remember those games? I don't know. Like when I was little, for some reason, everyone's like parties or get togethers, like people would be like, guess how many jelly beans are in this case? And I'm like, who cares how many jelly beans are in that case? This one. <gasps> My favorite one! I used to have this little doll. She's like another little Malibu Barbie. This is the Malibu Barbie. The other one's like swimsuit Barbie or something. Oh my god, I'm just so excited about these little Barbie figures. <gasps> they kind of do look like me. I don't like the one with the bob cut. She looks like a mushroom and reminds me of me in fourth grade when I had lice. No, thank you. How, is anyone still watching? I feel like I've literally been sitting in this floor unboxing stuff for like an hour. I don't know what I'm going to edit this down to, but I feel like I've been here a solid hour. I'm so excited. <gasps> Ooh! I loved this one. I dressed up as her for a tutorial like a long time ago. I used to do like Halloween tutorials. I was a beauty guru. Open, open please. Okay. Of course the last one has to be the hardest thing ever. Okay, got it. Oh, they have the other one. <gasps> okay, I hope I get one in pink. I'm gonna say either 1986, or 1985 or 1977. She has like a pink gown on. Let's hope this is a pink dress one because I haven't gotten anyone in pink yet and it's a Barbie. Come on Barbie, don't let me down. Come on Barbie, let's go party. Okay, let's not party. It's a Wednesday. I gotta eat sushi and get my nails done. I got the same one, are you kidding me? Ugh, trash. Well that ended on a bad note. But anyways, I love you guys. I'm recording tonight. I have two new songs coming at you for the Christmas season. I'm so excited. And that's it for my unboxing. I have to get going because I have to clean all this mess up, kind of organize it as best I can. I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Until next time, we're going to see you for a little bit of fishies. Bye, guys.